Horsky strikes back as Min Song Kim and Aneta Stolkalova retake the championship lead. Bastad, the fabulous destination in southern Sweden, hosted the third round of the UIM Motosurf World Championship. Bastad in the southern part of Sweden is a perfect place for pleasure seekers. We have beautiful nature, great gastronomy and activities and events all year round. The place is a peninsula, which means that you have an ocean on three sides. So it is a perfect place for water sports. We've been so happy to be the host destination for World Championship Motor Surf. It's a really cool sport, really cool people, and it's been amazing for the audience to watch all the amazing riders here. We really hope to be able to welcome you back next year again. Bosta has been a tourist destination since the 1890s. What happened in 1890? Well, the train came to Bosta, and all the society all over Sweden chose to go here to go sunbathing. And then, a few years later, the king came here to play a famous tennis tournament, and Bosta was famous. Still, people are going here to go sunbathing, enjoy the, the beach life, but also to play and watch tennis, go cycling, go hiking, do the water sports, but also cultural life and, of course, party. The Bosta is for everyone who likes to enjoy life the way they like it. Riders from all over the world came to compete for the championship points, and it was a blast as the championship is turning into a drama ahead of the final race in Croatia. In the open class, we saw intense moments as the championship leader Alex Lukscheider faced technical issues and experienced a difficult weekend. On the other hand, Jakub Kornfeil and Lukas Sahorski both raced in a great pace to make a huge championship opportunity from the Swedish weekend. Zahorski dominated both finals and swept the Sunday program. Jakub Kornfeil claimed second overall and Matias Novotny scored his premier world championship podium in the open class. Hello to all, my name is Lukas Zahorski, representing Rocket Racing in Czech Republic, starting number one. So this was the first race of the season that I won. I'm super excited, super happy. I made a huge comeback to the World Championship standings. So overall I'm now second, but I'm just uh, a bit of shiny behind Alex Lukšajder. So I'm looking forward for last race, which will be in Croatia, Zadar, where the championship title will be decided. So I'm super excited, ready to fight, and I'm coming for my sixth title. Marek Skamla concluded the weekend in six, but was still very close in championship contention, just a few points behind Kornfeil in third. Hello to all, here is Marek Skamla from Slovakia, and this year I ride in uh, open class, and this is my second season in open class and fourth season totally. I think that this season is pretty good for me because uh, in the Berlin I was third and in the Italy I was second, so I think this is not a bad result. I think the best experience this year was a uh, race in Italy, because there was a lot of close battles between me, Alex Schneider, and Jakub Kornfeld. So I think uh, this race was the biggest experience this, this year. Uh, this is a sport like any other, so everyone wants to win. Uh, so my expectation must win the championship, but uh, this is this is expectation of all, all riders. But I satisfied with my result uh, even this week because uh, this week is not good for me. Uh, in the first final I fell in the water, but in the second final I have also some troubles. Uh, so this week is not good for me. But totally point different between first and fifth riders in only 50 points. So uh, I think that in the Zadar will be a lot of close battles between us. I really looking forward for a last race uh, in Zadar. So I hope that a lot of you come to come to Zadar to support us. And yeah, so see you soon. Stay tuned and have a nice day. Bye.
The stock class racing action was a blast. Min Song Kim came back strong after an unfortunate weekend in Italy and scored first and second for the overall victory. A strong weekend in Sweden made Min Song a new championship leader heading to the final round of the championship in Croatia. Hi, my name is Min Song Kim from South Korea. My racing number is 01 and I'm racing for Fraxel Racing Team and I ride in the stock category. I won the game in the Berlin World Cup Championship and in Italy I was 13th position and now I won the game this Sweden World Cup Championship. I think I'm going in the direction I want. I'm really happy for my result in Berlin and this Sweden. My goal is the season winner my, my biggest rival is myself, so I want to always beat myself. The scene in the Bosta is a beautiful place. The old game was so fun for me, and finally I won the game. Thanks for my parents for supporting me, and thanks for my Fraxa racing team. I will go to the Croatia race and see you at the Croatia race. His compatriot, Down Kim, reigning world champion, made his way back to the podium after scoring fourth and first in the finals. American racer Anthony Squire scored his second consecutive podium. After Italian glory, the likable American scored second and fourth in Sweden for third place overall. Mate Surkos came to Sweden as a championship leader, but experienced difficult three days in Scandinavia. Hello, Motosur fans. My name is Matej Surkos, I'm from Czech Republic and I'm racing in the stock class. This is actually my third season and I'm aiming for the World Championship title. This season is pretty good. Uh, I did a small mistake in Berlin which cost me some points, but then I won in Italy. So after Italy I was actually championship leader. Unfortunately, this time in Sweden it wasn't really my weekend. I felt like in every, every heat and every final I could. Um, so let's say forget about the weekend as quickly as possible and focus uh, to, to Zadar to finish the season with as many points as I can and hopefully finish, the po finish on the podium and uh, let's get the championship title. My biggest competitor is definitely Kim Min Tsung from, from Korea who is uh, right now in the championship lead after my fail here in Sweden. And, uh, but of course, like many other guys who, who, get, who got really fast, like between Italy and here, they were really fast, they, they had a pace. So it's definitely Timote Jubor, uh, Anthony Square from the United States, and also J Jacob Kozan. My best experience in the season so far was definitely the whole weekend in Italy. I did, I did great, I, I scored my first World Cup win and it was actually on my birthday, so what you can get more. Before the season, I expected to be a bit higher, I would say. Um, I came from the open class uh, to, to, the, to the stock class. So my biggest goal was to um, get the championship title. Um, Kim Min Seung is really, really good. I'm, I mean, he's uh, probably in another league. Um, so I did expect to do a bit better, but so far it's pretty good. I sh still should be second in the championship and I mean podium in the overall um, championship would be still a good result for me. In the Merlin Plus Stock R Class, home racer Alexander Lahner kept Swedish hopes high, aiming for the podium on his home soil. Oliver Navarra, championship leader, managed to control both finals and ended up victorious. Hi, my name is Oliver Navarra. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Czech Republic and I race for Klimares in Maryland Plus Stock Hour class. This season is the best season so far for me because of beautiful places we were in and because of my results that I achieved. In the beginning of the season, I was a little bit nervous because it's a big step for me to be in a stock R class because in heats you race against adult men so that's 
something for me because I'm like small. So I'm happy. My biggest experience so far was in Rode Garganica when I went to Joker Bui in first lap while I was leading. And because of bad timing, I was last in a first lap. So I had to push to achieve podium. And overall I ended up second, so that's a good achieve. Race in Sweden was a beautiful race, except uh, conditions on track because uh, there were big waves and we had some troubles in a Friday. In finals I was confident um, but I had a problem with my legs because there were as I said before big waves and my legs hurt. <laughs> Overall I feel great after this race I'm so happy that I won and I'm definitely looking forward to the next race in Zadar. For the second podium step, we saw a big battle between Alexander Lanner and Renzo de Crane from Belgium. After both of the finals, it was a home rider who could celebrate the second spot in front of Renzo de Crane from Belgium. Hi everybody, my name is Alexander Lanner and I race for the national team Sweden. Uh, and I race in the stock car category. This season for me has been a, a great experience and I'm really happy about all of the results. Uh, it, started, it started in Berlin where I got second place. I was really excited because it was, it was my second race ever and um, I ended up in second place. And then it was Italy, uh, didn't go as well. Uh, we got, I got my teammate on the podium though, so he got third and I got fourth. Uh, and then uh, we're here in Sweden and I came second. So it's, I'm really happy about the results. The race here in Sweden was quite an experience. It's the first time ever Motosurf has uh, been here. So uh, it was really funny and um, I was so excited uh, for the beginning, but really nervous because uh, I was uh, gonna race in front of my own people, if I can say it like that, uh, the Swedish. From my perspective, I really think that uh, the, uh, the race for me went really good. Uh, racing in front of uh, uh, family and friends uh, was at first uh, really nervous because I never done it before. Uh, as I said, this is my fifth race, so I haven't been racing a long time. So I was really scared for the beginning that I was gonna make a fool of myself. But I started really good with, a qualify, uh, with the winning all my heats and uh, got a good qualifying time. So uh, I ended up starting second in the finale. So uh, after the race, almost all racing was done, I felt really comfortable and was proud to uh, show uh, everybody what I got and uh, especially my family and friends. Uh, I would like to uh, thank all of my sponsors for making this possible, but especially I want to thank my family and uh, my team, uh, National Team Sweden. Thank you everybody. In the women's class, the two rivals in the championship, Aneta Slokalova and Alushka Matushkova, fought hard for every single available point. Aneta Slokalova had a flawless weekend with two victories on Sunday. Hello, my name is Aneta Slokalova. I'm 19 years old and this season I'm racing for Samohil Škoda team in the women category. So far the season is very good. I'm very satisfied with my results and uh, my board works very well and uh, my team is uh, very supportive so I'm grateful for that. My best experience this year will probably be uh, my training sessions with Aneta Shakharova. I really want to thank to her because she, she really helped me uh, to change my uh, style of riding and um, she really helps me uh, during the, the race weekend. So in my category there are lots of girls who are very fast and very good um, but uh, probably uh, the closest fights are always happening with Eliška Matoškova and I really enjoy racing with her because she's fast and good. So the results were as I expected because uh, my goal was to achieve a podium every single race. I'm looking forward to the last race in Croatia. <laughs> Eliška Matushkova 
Follow Danetta the whole weekend, but experienced an unfortunate moment in the first finals when she got penalized for an incorrect buoy passing that relegated her down to fifth. Second place in the second shootout meant third place overall. Hello, my name is Eliška Matouškova. I'm 15 years old and I'm racing in women category for MPS Sports and I'm racing four years. Early this season is going pretty well for me. I'm still leading the world championship, so I'm happy about it. Uh, the best experience this year for me uh, was the race in new country Sweden. I like this place, I love these people, I love this culture and I love the track. There are so many competitors in women class from uh, many different countries and every race we are fighting for podiums. I like that uh, every race is different and it's very really hard to be uh, on top three, but I'm doing all my best. We had an amazing weekend and I'm looking forward to see you on last race in Croatia. Another Eliška in the mix, Eliška Khorosova, managed to squeeze among the podium finishers when she finished second. In the junior boys, we saw Kuwait dominant sing Ramadan Fares on top, followed by his compatriot Hamad Al Haddad. <laughs> Czech racer Adam Kolar closed the race in third and scored his premier podium. The junior girls class weekend was under full control of three Slovakian girls. Emma Strutsulova stepped up on the top step while Sara Zuborova and Zara Kubinsova concluded the GP of Sweden in second and third respectively. Hi, my name is Emma Strutsulova. I'm from Slovakia. I'm racing for four years and I'm in junior category. So this season is going well so far. Uh, it's it's fun and I have good results. We will see after the next race. My best experience uh, was when I win my first race in Hrades Kralove. I was really happy and I even couldn't uh, realize that I won. So here in Sweden I race uh, very well. The track really sweet to me. Uh, in the first final I was third. Uh, Overall and from girl I was first. And in the second final I fell two times to water. So then I was so eight. So hi, I'm Zara Kubinsova, I'm from Slovakia and I'm racing in junior class in for girls and I'm racing for four years. The results in this season were really good in Rodi Garganico in Berlin because I was first but in this race in Sweden it was not really good but I will fight for better place in Zadar. My best experience in this season was this first place in Berlin because I was on first place for the first time of my life. In Sweden I really like this country, nature and all about this, but I don't like that on races where here uh, really waves on the first day and cold, cold water. Overall, I looking forward to racing Zadar to win this race because I want to be world champion. So I hope that I will win. In the electric challenge, we witness a premier victory of Frenchman Julien Renault racing for Nodore Surf Motorisé. Czech racer Patrick Nalepa finished second in front of the championship leader Mikkel Skocek, who leaves Sweden tied on points in the championship with his rival Alan Kopens from Belgium. My name is Mikhail Skocek, I'm from Czech Republic. Uh, I race for rocket racing team in category of electric challenge. This season is uh, pretty tough because I was unlucky in two uh, 
first races, so uh, this race uh, helps me to be in a game again. The most difficult for me was the first race uh, when I had an accident and uh, to don't give up and fight for the best results in the season. The best experience was that I didn't give up, so uh, it helps me to be stronger and, and fight for the finals. I'm still looking the highest top what I can, so uh, I hope I win. Yeah, of course, my goal is to be champion and I'll do my best to be there. The competition in my class, the competitors, racers are uh, very strong this year and everything is very tight, so it's much harder than the years before. Yeah, I like Sweden, it's a very nice country and the weather was like uh, down and up, so I think Sweden show us the best and the worst. The race in Sweden was perfect and I can wait for another race, which will be last race in Croatia Zadar. See you guys there. The championship is still open and we cannot wait to see the season decider in Zadar, Croatia on the 6th through 8th of October 2023.